What are you doing here? I, I thought I was all alone here today. How'd that happen? Well, I guess you get to see what kind of struggles I'm dealing with today. Welcome to Willie Sloth. So hey guys, welcome back to Willie Sloth. Uh, today we're going to talk about struggles. And the struggles are real. For a guy like me in a wheelchair, um, I have to deal a lot with just normal everyday today things that most people can do that I cannot. Uh, so uh, I'll show you around a few things today and kind of get your ideas and see what you guys think. And so let's go from there. So welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, not the most handicapped accessible kitchen there is in the world. When you live in a wheelchair, things that you should be able to do, you just can't. Now, so what we're talking about are things like, I can't use my own refrigerator, and I cannot use my own stove, and the sink, well, that's about, that's, I can kind of get to the sink if I have to. But all those things that I would a normal person can do on their own, I really can't. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when most people go to the refrigerator, they just go on over and they open it up like a normal person would. But for me, in order for me to open the fridge, number one, I have to, I have to first fold up my footrest so I can get into this area. And then I can get in part way and, and I can only get it to, uh -oh, to about right there. I can't open much, well, let's see, right, right there. That's as far as I can get into my fridge. So if stuff I want is not on the door, I really can't use it because I can't get far enough in there. So that's number one. Uh, number two, the freezer I can get into, but I can't open stuff up once it's out of the freezer. Number two, let's talk about the stove. Stove, you think, oh cool, it's a stove. Well, when your arms don't work quite right, Number one, you gotta be able to get to the, the on off buttons. And if you notice, they're in the back of the stove. For a guy in muscular addition with no muscles in his arms, like I can move a hand around, but if I were to reach my arm over to try to try and turn on the stove, I'll turn you as close as I can. I can't even get near it. I have no way of getting close to it. So, I don't cook in this kitchen anymore, and I love to cook. I, I always like cooking. So, stove is no good to me. Kind of sucks. My microwave? Look how high up that is. I'll just turn around, and let's talk about the sink. So, here is the sink, and I can get over the sink if I raise, if I raise it up high enough. Turn it almost, sometimes I can turn it on, and it on the day. Okay, all right, I can't use the sink right now because I can't even get over the sink that well enough. So those are the issues I have with, with my kitchen. And, and for the normal person, it's no big deal. But for a guy that, that even though I'm married and I have a couple of kids, you know, they help out a lot and I have a care worker that comes in every day. It's still, it's still very frustrating because there's times that I want to do things on my own. And I can't always do things on my own like that. So now, let's move to another area of the house. So my next area of struggle is the infamous bathroom. So let's show the bathroom. And again, we come to think of, well, what's wrong with the bathroom, John? Well, let me show you what's wrong with my bathroom. So for me to, if I want to, do number one, I have a pee bottle that I can use. No big deal on that. However, if I need to sit on the toilet, this is the issues I have to go through. My chair is just wide enough to get in the bathroom door. And I have to back up straight, not run anything over, to get in here to turn my chair and back it up over here just so that I can get onto the toilet. Once I get that over here, I actually get out of my wheelchair, grab the walker, and I sit on the toilet. And when I'm done, 
I stayed back up off the toilet, half out, pulling the pants out, and then I walked back over to the wheelchair. I'm not going to show the actual process of that being done because I have a video that I'll link in my in the description below that shows how I do that. Once I'm done with the, the toileting, then it's time for me to turn on the water in the bathroom to wash both my hands. I can't just walk in and walk up to the sink or you know, roll up to the sink and wash my hands. I actually have to do it like this. So I get over here and I can turn on the water and I'll give you a quick demonstration. So one, one hand goes in um, and then I use the soap. I'm not going to actually get my hands wet, the hand wet with soap right now. I have soap in my hand, bring it over here. I wash my hands up like this. I then rinse off his hand. Shake it out since the towels are over there. Dry them off. And then, to rinse off this hand, I get to come out of my bathroom, make a U-turn, and come on in and then I end up rinsing this hand on this side. Oh yeah. So I can't, so it takes a little extra time. I waste a little bit of water, but it is what it is. Hey, welcome to the bedroom, the place where everything happens and also nothing happens because it's so hard for me to do things in here. Let me show you just how I get on the bed. I do have another video, which I'll link down in the description that shows how I actually get into the bed, but I'm not going through the hassle, hassle today. Today I'll just be sitting on the side of the bed and then I'll get back up and I'll get back in my chair. You'll see how, how fun it is to get a wheelchair to do that. So number one, I have to bring the chair up to a certain spot over here. I measure how far I am over here in this. Okay. Rip. And that's how I get on the side of my bed. So now, from that point out, I would actually bring the legs up, lay down, and do all the stuff. Not gonna show all that, but I will show how I get off the bed. Let me get this all set up real quick. So just like that, now I'm back in my chair. So now we're, okay, so now we're to the last area of the last struggle we're going to talk about today. And it's called when I want to sit in my recliner. Um, this is a, a lift chair recliner, so it goes up and down, um, a little thing like that. However, I can no longer just sit into it like, like a normal human being. So first thing we got to do is we put a pillow on the bottom and a pillow on the back. So my 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 Lovely camera guy helped me out with that. There's one. And we'll grab another one. Okay. And then, so we have, we have, we have to put the pillows there. Number two, um, I parked the chair over here so I'm out of the way a little bit. And we grab the walker. So the walker usually stays in the bathroom. So when I, when I want to sit in the wheelchair, or sit in the recliner, I have to grab the walker from the bathroom, add the pillows, and do all this. So let's go ahead and grab the walker. And that is how I get into the recliner. I can actually now lean back. Uh, what is it? Not lean back. Come up, come back, and go back. So now I can sit here and watch TV or talk to people and do whatever I want. Well, as as you see all this other stuff over here the wheelchair, the walker. Oh, and guess what? I forgot to get over here. Zoom the camera, turn the camera to the couch, right to the couch. Oh, I forgot the remotes. Yeah. So I had to put the normally put the remotes on here and then sit down. So since I couldn't do it that way, now I'm gonna try to get out of here. 
This is where it's gonna probably take a little bit of time, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so once I get this position, uh, as I'm getting out of the chair, hopefully I can do this. I haven't done this in a while, so. Okay, that's as high as the chair goes. Let's see if I can get it out of this chair. Um, hold on. All right, let me just screw it up. I should not have done this chair. Okay, under, uh -oh. in the bottom of that basket here. Hey, it's the editor, Wheelie Sloth. Just so you know, I had to cut out the whole section of me getting out of the, the recliner because I got stuck and I had to have help getting out of the recliner. So we edited that part out. Now back to normal programming. So now on to the final struggle. This struggle is one that I've been able to overcome a little bit uh, through a little bit of assistance. So what it is, is let's say I were to have a, uh, some food in front of me. I cannot just hold a plate in front of me. And I was very lucky and I got to get a, I have my own little table. And this has actually helped me a lot and I'm probably going to walk right in the middle of it. So take the table like that. And so now, I have a way to, uh, like a, a table, a desk, whatever you want to call it. And it's all right there, all specifically for me to use. So I'm glad I have this, and this helps me out. What are you still doing here? Don't you know I have my own struggles? Go find some struggles of your own, jeez. Hey, what struggles do you have? What are, what are your daily struggles? What, what kind of things do you have issues with? Uh, going to the bathroom, getting in bed, you, driving, all these kind of things. What, what do you have struggles with? Let me know in the comments. Remember, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment for me. All that stuff helps out the algorithm. If you could please do that, that would be totally awesome. And remember, guys, be kind to someone else because you never know what kind of struggles they're going through. Have an awesome day. Wheelie Sloth, I'm out.